Welcome back foodies! Today we're going to turn our leftover guineling into a delicious torta. Think of it as an omelette filled with leftover guineling, eggplant and eggs. It has a simple recipe that pairs perfectly with some banana ketchup and it's our go-to whenever we have leftover guineling or even just some eggplants and eggs lying around. If you haven't checked out our guineling recipe yet, there's a short clip that I'll link at the top right corner for you to check that out. Let us know in the comment section what's your favorite omelette to make with leftover to get started. Let's gather our ingredients, our leftover guineling, make sure it's heated up so the fat is not solid, our eggplant, and egg. You won't need any salt and pepper since we're using the guineling to season our eggplant and egg. Next, preheat your oven to broil. We want to char the eggplant so we can either remove all the skin or open it up and mix it with the guineling and egg. We prefer to leave the skin on but it's up to you. To make it easier to roast the eggplant, pierce it with a knife. Poke about 4 or 5 pricks in a row, rotate the eggplant a little, and repeat about 20 times in total. Then, place the eggplant on a baking sheet and put it in the oven. While it's cooking, let the guineling liquid drain out. Keep checking on the eggplant and turn it a little bit when you see it turn dark brown. If you have thongs, squeeze the eggplant. It should be soft. That's the texture that you're looking for so you can cut it open. Once it's done, set it aside to cool down. When it's cooled a little bit, Cut a straight line down the eggplant to open it up. Then, make a crisscross marks along the eggplant so that egg and guineling will be incorporated into the eggplant better. There are two techniques that we'll show you here. The first is to mix the egg and the guineling in a bowl and put it together with the eggplant on the pan. The second is to put the eggplant with the egg in a bowl and then put the guineling over the egg while on the pan. We prefer the first technique because it looks cleaner and makes a better shape. Let us know in the comments which one you prefer. Either way, we want to make sure that the egg is cooked all the way through. Flip the torta just one time and let it fry to ensure that it is cooked all the way through. And once the egg is done, and that's it. You can grab your banana ketchup and it's time to eat. We love pairing it with just plain rice and just with that banana ketchup. Let's eat. Kainatayo. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the recipe.